As part of our Time for Change campaign, we surveyed 50 homes across the UK. In each property, we reviewed the smoke detection systems, checking how many alarms were installed, where they were located, whether they worked, and how old they were. Some of the homes belonged to electricians, some to family, others were friends or neighbours. Different types of properties, different locations, but all with the same question in mind, are these homes properly protected. We'll get to what we found later on in the video, but first let's look at what the industry actually says about smoke detection and why the 10 year rule exists in the first place. So why do smoke alarms need replacing after 10 years? That's the recommendation you'll find on the packaging. It's in the manufacturer's instructions, but more importantly, it's backed up by industry guidance and British standards. The main reason is sensor degradation. Smoke and heat alarms rely on sensors, either optical, ionisation or thermistor based. And like any component exposed to air, humidity, dust and household contaminants, they degrade over time. Even if the alarm still powers up, even if the test button works, that doesn't mean it will detect smoke in a real emergency. 10 years is the accepted limit for reliable performance. After that, it should be replaced. For domestic premises in the UK, the key reference is BS 5839-6, the British standard for fire detection and fire alarm systems in dwellings. And for electricians, we can reference the Electrician's Guide to Fire Detection and Fire Alarm Systems, third edition. It's there to help us translate the requirements of BS 5839-6 into something practical, with clear guidance on system design, detector selection, cable types and zoning. For anyone specifying or installing domestic fire alarm systems, especially in line with Part B of the building regulations, it's a brilliant place to start and helps ensure your work stands up to scrutiny from both building control and customers. It also covers common mistakes like poor detector placement or mixing incompatible alarm types and breaks down responsibilities when working in dwellings, HMOs or buildings being converted for residential use. The guidance doesn't stop there. Approved document B of the building regulations calls for smoke alarms in new build to comply with BS 5839-6 and that includes the 10 year replacement recommendations. And for those working in rented or managed properties let's not forget the smoke and carbon monoxide alarm regulations 2022 in England. These require landlords to ensure alarms are in working order at the start of each tenancy and they don't override the 10 year replacement rule in BS 5839. If it's over 10 years old, it's time for a change, whether it chirps or not. So what's the actual impact of letting smoke alarms go unchecked? Well, let's have a look at the evidence. In England alone, there were nearly 27,000 dwelling fires last year. Where a smoke alarm was present but failed to operate, 29% of these home fires still went undetected during the incident, and that's nearly one in three. And in 24% of dwelling fires, no smoke alarm was present at all. Homes with no working alarm are more than twice as likely to experience a fire fatality. In the year ending September 2022, there were 216 fire-related deaths in homes across England. While fatalities have decreased slightly, over three quarters of those deaths occurred in properties with faulty, absent or non-operating smoke alarms. Lone occupants over 65 are at particularly high risk, which is consistent with the national trends. Older residents living alone and especially without a working alarm are the most vulnerable group. Fires spread in seconds, especially at night. You have just under two minutes to escape once smoke fills the room. A working alarm isn't just a warning, it's your lifeline. So with all that in mind, there was only one place we could start our own homes and the homes are the ones we love because it's one thing to talk about regulations quote the stats and warn others but if we're not checking our own detectors what does that say so we asked every member of the team to take a look no preps no warnings just an honest inspection and we're starting with gary time for some personal reflection on this one this smoke detector is in my sister's house and she moved in when it was brand new and i can almost date the actual time in which she moved into this property because when i look at the smoke detector it says it needed replacing in 2012 when i was cheering on anthony joshua to win a gold medal well he's almost retired now and i think it's time to retire this smoke detector it's time for a change and it was time for a change almost 13 years ago. Okay, so we're doing the high spec time for change doorstep challenge and we're here at this property to have a look at their smoke detector. We're gonna see if it's firstly in date and what the quality of it is. Is it battery, is it mains powered, is it interlinked? Hello there, sir. Uh, my name's Joe. I'm from eFix and we're doing the high spec time for change challenge where we're looking at smoke detectors whether they're in date and if they're safe for your property. Is it all right if we have a look at yours? No. 
Now I'm on Clover because I actually replaced all the smoke alarms in my house and put in some additional ones not long after moved in for another video. So we'll just prove this by taking this down and checking the date here. You can see, oh, actually I should have written the activation date on there and forgot to do it. So um, yeah. However, it does say 2034. So yeah, hopefully we're all good for another 10 years. Skills. So I've surveyed a number of these properties already this morning. I'm getting exactly the same story as I come in and out of them. So let's try James's house. And I reckon using Mystic Meg, I can actually tell you the date in which his will require to be replaced. Hello, gorgeous. Yes. How are you? How are you doing? Going to check that smoke detector. I've got a feeling that I already know the outcome of this one. To be replaced by May 2016. That is way out of date. Quick bit of maths, 10 years for the detector for life, and it's actually been out of date, just gone past its anniversary of nine years out of date, and this is not unique to this property. So let's go and have a look at this house in Laxton. Now this is actually the home of my good friend, David, and his wife, Sophie, and little baby Penelope. And we're gonna see if their smoke detection is up to scratch. Hey, David, you all right? Hey, good to see you, pal, how are you? Dave. I want to have a look at your smoke detectors. Can you tell me, when was the last time you tested them? Hey? So, uh, David, when was this one installed? Uh, I don't know, but I think if we take it to the Antiques Roadshow, it might be worth fortune. Well, don't panic, because I'm sure... And there's no... <laughs> and there's no battery in there. Oh, gosh. That's because I had to swap that out earlier today. I see. Because I tested it earlier. Okay, well, that's a little bit surprising. Well, let's go see what Rick's found. So here we are in my house, and you can see we've got a smoke detector here. And like everybody else, I also forgot to put the activation date on. But at the bottom here, you can see that it's to be replaced by 2034. But this smoke alarm is a bit special to me, because it's our upstairs one and our bathroom's just there, and the kids like to get showers. The showers have to be that hot, it gets a little bit steamy. And once it gets steamy, this triggers. But not only does it trigger this one, because it's interlinked with the others, they also go off, reminding us that the kids are having a shower. Rachel's a little camera shy, but I can tell you from inspection, hers were the 11th of the 11th, 2023 installed. What makes her property different from everyone else on the estate is the fact that she rents it. And as part of that rental agreement, they must be kept up to date. But if you own your own house, it seems like you don't care. Now this one to be interesting. Helen's only recently in the last couple of years moved into this property. And would that mean as part of the survey that the actual detectors needed replacing? Let's find out. Hello, how are you? What are the chances when I look up here, it says again, October 2016 to be replaced. So another nine years out of date. Gorgeous property, been fully decorated from top to bottom since Helen moved in. The one thing we probably missed, certainly did, was the smoke detectors. For me personally, that was eye-opening and it is definitely time for a change. And with the sun just beating down on me now and all the hard work I've put in, I think it's time to take on a liquid refreshment in the form of a Wainwrights and just check one more smoke detector to see if that one's in date. So we've come to my friend Alice's house to have a look at her smoke detectors. Hello, Alice, you are right? Is it all right if we come and have a look at your smoke detector? Oh, absolutely, come on in. So Alice, when was the last time you tested this smoke alarm? Oh, Joe, I can't even remember. And have you got any more in the property? So Alice, this does not look like the one from downstairs. My dad fitted that one when the other one just wouldn't shut up one day. So Alice, what happened here? Well, it again, it wouldn't shut up one day and I was getting a bit panicky about the neighbours. It was the middle of the night, so I just ripped it off the wall. Um, never to be seen again. And who sleeps in that room? My son. Okay, so I've thrown Alice under the bus a little bit here because I knew that these smoke detectors were not only out of date, but the brands were mixed up, they weren't even interlinked correctly, and that the detector outside her son's bedroom had been ripped off. But because of my guilt, I think it's time for a change. So I'm gonna replace all of these for the new high-spec pulse. Being the technology geek that I am, I installed Nest Protect smoke alarms because they give you audible voice commands to tell you what's going on if smoke's been detected. Somebody did think it was a funny move to put the language into Italian. Pronto, in studio. Premi per testare. 
but we are getting used to that. Interestingly, through the app, you can check that it tests itself, which it does on a regular basis and tells you when it's doing that and reports back that everything's okay. If you dig further in the app, you can see that this one is due to expire its 10 year life on August the 13th next year. Well, that's when it was installed. That's slightly out of sync with the manufactured date on the back. And like Joe Robinson, I didn't fill in the exact install date, but luckily I can see that through the app. It will be interesting to see what happens after 10 years. Will it uh, reprimand me through a audible voice command through there, or perhaps even just direct me straight to an online store so I can purchase a replacement? Now it would have been easy to just stop there, just check our own detectors, point out a few issues and call it done. But this problem isn't just ours. We needed to know how widespread it really was. So we reached out to electricians, family members, students, neighbours and over the course of several weeks we reviewed 50 homes across the UK. And what we found, well let's just say it confirmed what we were starting to suspect. Across all 50 properties we followed the same checklist. How many alarms were present, what type they were, where they were installed, whether they worked, and whether they were in or out of date. Here's what we found. Just three homes had what we would call full compliant coverage, correctly placed, in date, and fully working. 60% of the homes had at least one alarm that was out of date. In nearly a third of the properties, the alarms were over 15 years old. 28% had missing alarms either removed entirely or with bases left on the ceiling and in six homes there was no smoke detection at all. That's 12% of the properties we visited completely unprotected. Now, scale that up. There are around 28.7 million homes in the UK. If our findings reflect the national picture, that means over three million homes across the country could be living with no smoke detection whatsoever. Now, this was a relatively small survey, but it does seem to reflect the national picture, which is concerning. So. Is it time for a change? Be sure to follow the links in the description where you can learn more about smoke, heat and carbon monoxide detection. We have dived deep into a series of topics and discussions with one simple objective, to raise awareness and save lives.